Hey guys, I'm Brandon, one of your hosts with Revzilla, and today on Ride Tested, we're taking a closer look at the Held Evo Thrux gloves. These are easily one of my favorite go-to options. So let's hop in the R6 and find out why. So the Evo Thrux gloves, easily one of my favorites. Um, been using these for quite some time, actually on my third pair of these gloves. Um, and I've crashed in these twice, actually. You can see the super fabric there is a, a little bit torn up uh, on the inside of the palm. Man, they, they've been my favorite pair for so long. I use them for touring, uh, for commuting into work, and of course I use them at the track. And that's actually why I originally bought these was for the track. They offer a really excellent amount of protection, but the level of comfort and tactile feel is what really drew me to these. You've got kangaroo on the inside of the palm, and I think that makes a huge difference uh, in manipulating your controls, feeling your controls uh, when you're uh, clicking through gears and things like that. You know, I tried on a lot of different gloves and I, they felt a little bit cumbersome. They felt uh, a bit more restrictive than I would like, especially when I'm riding out there in, in high speed track applications. I wanted something that moved very easily, very freely. And these felt like they were already broken in for me uh, as soon as I threw them on. So I, I've been really happy with the overall comfort here. And then you've got cowhide on the back of the hand, excellent abrasion resistance. Actually that super fabric there that you see that that's torn up, I actually uh, crashed that ride in some supermoto with my buddy Matt. And I actually crashed twice that day, once uh, on the supermoto bike, which was actually Matt's, sorry, and then again on his mini moto later that day, both in these gloves, but <laughs> both not on my bike. Sorry about that, Matt. Uh, but these gloves held up incredibly well, um, and I really, really like them for the reason of protection, the comfort, the tactile feel, all of those things. And those are all things you should be looking for in any pair of gloves uh, that you're shopping around for. I think they're pretty important uh, when you're on a motorcycle, obviously. Also, I I'm just thinking of this now. Uh, my buddy Phil, uh, we were riding some sport bikes down, uh, down in Delaware, actually. Uh, we had full leathers on. Um, it was kind of cold out. I had it rained a few days beforehand. And we were riding pretty aggressively, having a good time. And uh, he actually went down right in front of me uh, in these gloves, because I've got a lot of my buddies hooked on them. And uh, they held up incredibly well. He was, um, we were in the middle of a corner, the rain had washed down some gravel and debris. So as soon as we came around that corner, it just wiped him right out. He was perfectly fine. Uh, the gloves did exactly what they're supposed to. The super fabric tore away from the gloves, but they helped with that initial impact, and he slid for a good bit uh, before he came to a stop. So they did an excellent job. You know, I hate to talk about crashing, but it is a part of the reality of, of riding motorcycles, you know, and that's the importance uh, of having quality gear. I'm really excited to see the next iteration of these gloves. Hopefully, um, Held doesn't change them up too much because I really, really love them. So when I'm ready for my next pair, uh, hopefully I enjoy the second iteration of these guys as much as I do the first. So if you're looking for something to use, you know, at the track, daily commutes, or, or long distance touring, uh, I'm telling you, these guys are a, a really good option to take a closer look at. And I think they do well in the summer. You know, they've got light amount of, uh, of perforation here, nothing crazy, just on the back of the hand, and then some inlets right there on the knuckles. So they do work well for the summer riding application. But guys, I'm going to get back to it. Uh, obviously, this isn't you know a, a detailed product breakdown. This is just uh, some quick thoughts and some of my um, experiences with these particular gloves from using them for quite some time. If you're looking for a detailed product breakdown, just head over to Revzilla.com. You can find all of that there. And of course, don't hesitate to you know ask me any questions, leave some comments, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, any of that stuff. I'm always happy to help and uh, talk bikes with everyone. But uh, stay safe out there. I'm gonna get back to it. And as always, keep it pinned. <laughs> Woo!